Hello, welcome. Please read this problem and press pause and then press play when you are ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told here a couple of things. Let's just read through it. The guidance department has reported that the senior class, uh, of the senior class, 2.3% are members of the key club K. So they're telling us the, that K is the variable for being in the key club. All right, so I'm gonna write this down. The probability that a student is in the key club equals 2.3%, which is 0 0.023 as a decimal, and 8.6% are enrolled in AP Physics P. So the probability of being in physics is going to be 1.9%, which is 0 0.019. And nope, nope, that's wrong. <laughs> I've heard that wrong. Sorry. The probability there in physics is 8.6%. Okay, so let's fix that. 8.6%, I, I read ahead there, equals 0 0.086. And then the probability that they are in both, so the probability in physics and key club, equals 1.9%, which is 0 0.019. So we have all this information. I'm just writing it out. Determine the probability of P given K. So they want to know what is the probability of P given K. And it just means, all right, well, we know that they're in the key club. It's given. That's the the letter after this vertical line is the given. If they are in key club, how likely is it that they are also a member of the AP Physics group, right? So, the principal would like to, uh, a basic interpretation of these results. Okay, so they want to know what does this equal, and they also want to know uh, what does it mean. So one. One relationship you're going to use in a lot of these kind of problems is that the probability of, in this case, K, um, P times the probability, oops, probability of K, excuse me, times the probability of P, given that K has happened, must equal the probability of the intersection of, I'll keep writing A, probability of K and P. And all this is saying is that if I want to know what the probability is of both being in the key club and AP physics, I multiply these two probabilities. The probability that they are in the key club and the probability that they are in physics given that you know they're in the key club. And that will equal what's called the intersection, K and P. This is the N symbol right there. All right, so we know some things already. We know that the probability of K is 2.3%, and we know the probability of P and K is 1.9%. So I want to think algebraically, if I need to solve for this, this is our variable right here, right? P, the probability of P given K. Um, I'm thinking algebraically. Well, the probability of K times that equals the intersection. So if I divide both sides by the probability of K, just like I would in an algebra problem, it must be true the probability of P given K equals the probability of the intersection divided by the probability of K. And it's just like any kind of multiplicative relationship. Here I have two things multiplied to get a third. So for example, if I had 2 times 3 equals 6, it would also be true that 6 divided by 2 equals 3, that multiplicative relationship. I'm using that idea right here. It's like, this is my 2, this is my 3, and this is my 6. I'm just kind of shuffling them around. Long story short, now I just divide these two. I divide um, 0 0.019 divided by the probability of k, which is 0 0.023. And this will give me the conditional probability. So let's pull that up. All right, so let's do that. 0 0.019, boom, divided by 0 0.023. It's about 0.826, so about 82%. They want nearest tenth of a percent, so 0 0.826. We're rounding to this spot right here. That's the tenth of a percent. So it's 82.6%. 82 All right. So the probability down here that we just got is 0 0.862 and oh, 826, put that backwards. And the, as a percent, that would be 82, oh boy, 82.6%. Okay, what does this mean? How do we explain that this is 82.6%? Um, well, what I, the way I like to phrase this, I keep it as simple as possible. Use the context. The given is that they are in key club. So if a student is in key club, 
All right, that's the given part. Then there is an 82.6% chance that they are in physics. In other words, you know they're in Key Club. Once you know that, how likely is it that they are in physics? And that's different than just the probability of them being in physics. So it matters, right? Being in Key Club might be an indicator that you're also in physics. And you could elaborate on that, but keep it simple. Especially if you're answering a Regents question, just tell them what they need to know, which is that you understand how to read this probability. All right, thank you.